Hey guys, Nathan Duck River Honey. It is mid-December now, and to be honest, I think I'm fretting over my hives a little bit. I miss working with the bees. So I've got one good reason to be here today, and I've got another reason that's just sort of busy work. The good reason is I am preparing to do a, at least two rounds of oxalic acid vaporization, and I want to do that when the hives reach their lowest point of brood. That way most of the mites are going to be exposed and I'll get a better kill. And the temperatures that we've had up until now have been fairly warm, so I'm expecting that these bees have still got some brood going on. And I'm guessing it's going to be after the, the turn of the new year before I'll be able to do that treatment and be most effective with it. But I don't know without checking, so I'm going to get into one or two boxes today, dive down into the second medium and see if they've got brood in there. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is, because we've had these warm temperatures, the bees have been flying a lot. And since it's December, there's nothing for them to go out and forage on. So they're burning energy without anything coming in to replace it. That means they can wear through food pretty quickly. So I'm going to just tip my hives forward pick up the backs and fill the weight and if I find any that are noticeably light I'll just mark that hive and uh, get ready to throw some feed on them if I need to. Heavy. Very heavy. Medium heavy. Huh. Need to watch that one. Mm -mm. These girls are medium light, but they were also a late swarm, so there's not a ton of bees in there. I'll keep my eye on them. All right, guys, I think I'm just going to pick on this hive. They were uh, about average heavy. They've actually got some activity on the landing board, so we'll see what's going on in there. I'm not expecting them to be very happy with me. I would expect that top box to be solid honey. That is one of the advantages, as I see it anyway, of using medium equipment, is it does kind of segregate the bees. Everything's stuck together. Bees like to build, or like to make propolis in the fall to seal their hive up. honey and that's probably syrup no brood there I don't know if I mentioned this but it's 66 degrees today and fairly calm so while I don't like to get into hives in the winter, a day like this would be perfect for it if you're going to. No brood, no eggs. That's good information. I'm going to check one more. You really need two hive tools at this time of year. One to pry the box open and one to push the frames down uh, in the box underneath it because they, they just stick together. Everything's stuck together and cold. Propolis doesn't give when it's cold. And of course, me being the unprepared beekeeper that I am, I only have one hive tool out here, so we're using a purple ice scraper as a second hive tool. <laughs>
empty comb empty comb there is a little bit of syrup or nectar in there but not much we had a poor fall flow this year and that is one thing that's got me a little concerned about stores it's also got me concerned about getting them fired up in the spring we had a poor pollen flow in the fall so it makes me wonder if they're going to have the resources that they need to get started strong in the spring That is a light box right there. That comb is just basically empty. Completely empty. Bottom two boxes are pretty much empty. A little bit of syrup in the middle box. Looks like most of the bees are already in the top. With it being the middle of December, I do not see this as a good thing. Make sure the queen's not on the lid here. There's a pretty honey frame there. We got the queen right here. Fairly small queen. So I look at this time of year sort of as walking a beekeeper's tightrope. Um, I want my hives to go broodless. So even though I'm seeing a lack of resources or, or resources that aren't where I'd want them to be in the hive, I'm not feeding or artificially stimulating through dry pollen sub or syrup or anything because I, I want them to have this broodless period. That will allow me to jump on the mites with oxalic acid vaporization, get a much more efficient treatment. Um, OAV only kills mites that are phoretic or outside of the cappings. OAV does not penetrate wax cappings and go into sealed brood. So I'll treat two or three times within the next two or three weeks, and that will be my winter mite treatment. I don't go into hives much at this time of year, and when I do, I have a purpose. And my purpose here, I think, is valid. Uh, I did learn that I don't have as many resources in the hives as I would like for them to have, especially the pollen. Um, bees typically store honey from the top down in the hive. They like to put nectar and honey in the top, 
and they store pollen from the bottom up. So they don't move pollen as far from the entrance as they will nectar or honey. In the bottom box, I didn't find much pollen at all, which means they're not going to have a lot of protein in the spring to kick off brood rearing. They are going to be very dependent on incoming pollen in the spring. So if we have a late winter, then I very likely will need to jump on these hives with some pollen sub in the spring in order to get them kickstarted the way that I want them to, to kickstart. I'll say one more thing that I think is interesting. Um, different lines of bees are good for different things. They have different genetic traits. A lot of my stock is from feral hives in this location that I have uh, swarm trapped. And because of that, I have fairly conservative bees that react to what is available in the environment. They shut down their brood laying. They will have a broodless period during a dearth. Um, they keep heavy hives. Uh, you know, they like to keep a good layer of honey around the brood chamber, even in summer. So that gives me a buffer in that I don't have to worry about them starving. Whereas with some lines, especially of Italians, they turn every ounce of food they have into bees. And that is a sought after trait in a lot of commercial apiaries because they need to make more hives to go to pollination. They need to make more hives to be able to shake packages, make nukes, and, and this sort of thing. Um, and they are supplying a steady, constant, dependable source of food for the bees. So that's a desirable trait that works well. But with my bees, I don't want to feed if I don't need to. I, I want them to be more conservative, to look after themselves more than not. Uh, I will certainly help them. I will influence their behavior as I can. I like my conservative bees pretty well. Guys, I hope that this is helpful. If anybody has any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll see you on the next one.